Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm not really a big fitness VTuber. Uh, obviously, fitness, I'm in my private studio uh, where I train clients and myself. And uh, so fitness is obviously fundamentally important to who I am. I've been exercising religiously six to seven days a week, including uh, uh, outdoor activities and sports and things in the summer for 25 years now, okay? So I was a little intrigued by the, I don't follow a lot of this fitness stuff, but the, the Liver King thing was interesting. Just that so many people were surprised by the shadiness and, and counterfeit behavior going on with fitness influencers who should be no more exempt from that kind of BS behavior than normal influencers. Um, if not slightly more, more culpable just by the fact that a lot of them obviously are using chemicals to enhance their physique. The question of, of a man like Liver King subsisting entirely off of organ meats and gaining as a result you know, hundreds of pounds, <laughs> over a hundred pounds of pure muscle mass in his 40s is biochemically impossible. So even people like Joe Rogan admit to doing things like, um, which I still consider doping. I think anything that alters your body chemistry is, is a form of transhumanist modification. But yeah, Joe Rogan is into, and this isn't a slight against him, it's, it works for him, that's fine. Uh, but he's into uh, like probably HGH or, or at least some sort of, some measure of hormone therapy that he's intimated about on his various podcasts. I have never in my entire life taken any kind of an altering substance, sorry, uh, non-recreationally <laughs> altering substance. I was a go-go boy, so I'm not gonna lie. There were some pills popped back in the day and some things snorted that shouldn't have been snorted. But you know, that's those are not performance enhancing, at least not in this sense. And um, yeah, so it just baffled me that, that this was a big scandal that broke. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 there is still a lot you can do with your own biochemistry. So I was a very late bloomer. Um, I didn't develop muscle until, well, I had to really start training when I was 19. And uh, I got my first, I got like an ab roller, don't know if you remember those things, and some free weights. And I was super, super skinny. Like I was 100, um, I, the lowest weight I ever was as an adult was 105 pounds um, at my current height. So I'm 165 now, my weight has basically been static for the last 20 years. Uh, with minimal fluctuations in body fat. I'm always about like six to, to 7.5, um, never really changes. And uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, if you wanna know what kind of body you can have with religious training, a, a, a fastidious um, uh, dedication to personal health and macro counting, and just the best you can do without kind of enhancing your body, and this is not a humble brag, but this is it, this is what you get. So this is, this is what you get from, you know, two decades of training, okay? And that's fine, I'm happy with that. I don't need to be like some, some crazy beefcake. Um, I'm never gonna get bigger than this. You cannot get bigger than that without chemical enhancements. So I think what I'm gonna do on this channel is, is just start dropping some little fitness tips. So here's some of the things I do. So these are the things I do to stay fit, without steroids. Without additives, I'm not selling you a program. There is nothing in this for me other than you just learning something and ideally using that information to better yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. Here's an easier way to do this. Let's get a bit more strength and support, kind of create a triangular base of support. Move my watch down here. I'm gonna grip my wrist. Gonna move my watch down a little further. So I'm gonna grip my wrist when I do this. Grip the middle of the bar. Firm grip, knuckles up and around it, okay? I'm gonna grip my opposite hand to opposite wrist, cross my ankles, hang for a second, and then pull. Chin up over the bar. One, two, three. Try and prevent your body from swinging. Four, five, six. I'm just using a little bit of strength here. As you can see, I can take my hands off if I need to. Nine, ten, and down. Again with the other arm. So knuckles around, grip your wrist, cross your ankles, and one, chin over the bar, two, three, four, just about eight of these guys, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Okay, now for my next favorite exercise. Okay, hey, okay, second exercise. So we're gonna build Got a little kitty here, there he is. Gonna build same kind of triangular base of support this time with our legs. So we're gonna have one 
foot turned in towards the ground. And we're gonna have our other leg straight and flexed. Like, so let's make our triangle. Make sure you can see me there. I think you can see me, okay. So wide stance with the feet. I'm gonna turn my right foot out. So you see how it's flat of the ground there? Turn my left hand in a little bit. Grab my thigh and down we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and up. Whew. Just like that. Easy peasy. Now we'll do the other side. Maybe you're gonna have to move. So same thing. So you can see from the other side. So left hand, sorry, right hand, right leg are in alignment. Turn my left foot out so it's flat on the ground. Grab my left hand, grab my left thigh, and down we go. One, try and get your face all the way in that. Two, three, flex your core, flex your quad, prevent your body from swaying. You're gonna lean into it a little bit, that's fine. knee squats, okay? So we're gonna keep our, ideally, hands behind our head, okay, for this so we don't have any support. It also prevents us from sort of leaning forward and throwing ourselves off balance. So we're gonna go from a stand to a squat. When we get down to the squat position, we're gonna drop our knees to the mat, bring our knees up, and stand again, okay? So here's how it looks. Hands are behind my head. I like to do all my squats up on my toes. Gives us the advantage of using, like you may have seen before, people that use those rubber mats um, or molds that go under the heel to provide uh, uh, for, for more forward flexion and a deeper squat in most instances. You can mimic that without paying for anything just by lifting up on your heels, okay? So I'm gonna start up on, sorry, lifting up on your toes. So I'm gonna start off here, go down to my squat, knees forward, push the pelvis forward, Knees back and up. And two, down. Back and up. And three, down. Back and up. And four, down. Back and up. And five, down. Back and up. Six, seven, Eight, nine, I will do one more, I've already worked out today. 10, 10. good stuff. Hey Siri, start a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, we're on. So, when you're doing this, get a timer, Two ways you can do this. You've got up, like I am now, and down on your elbows if you really start to suffer from the force. Either one of these is good. I prefer a down on the elbows uh, plank. Make sure your, your uh, quads are nice and tight, your glutes are flexed, your shoulders are flexed so that you don't have any collapsing in the spine. And you can do either vary, I don't care. Whatever gets you through the five minutes. We're gonna be here a while. So do as much as you can. If you drop out, Take five seconds and get right back into it. This is one of those things that you do to train your body with a positive dopamine response. So no one initially likes exercise because it's difficult. So it produces some amazing biochemical reactions. You have to stick with it to get those. And you usually have to push your body into a state of agitation and discomfort. But that's what exercise is. It's a controlled irritation of the muscle so that it grows. So it's made up of these little elastic uh, proteins, your muscles. And when they get attenuated and worked through exercise, worn down, they get stretched out. And when you sleep, they get 
re-knitted in that longer sleep and assuming you're getting adequate rest, hydration, nutrition, then they get re-knit in that longer, stronger form, which aesthetically manifests as muscle. That's the, that's the you know, kindergartner layman's terms of how this whole thing works. But point is, you have to push through difficult things. So, and this actually creates a positive dopamine response as opposed to a quick flash in the pan, cocaine-like one that we seem addicted to in today's society, uh, such as the likes and infantilization that goes on on social media, or the quick hits that you get from video games. This is a much more lasting and stable chemical happiness. You make small adjustments, just make sure that our core never dips. So I'm never letting my butt go up too high or my hips dip too low, keeping my legs nice and flexed. So it's starting to get a little hard. Hang in there with me, kids. helpful three four moves four power moves that I incorporate multiple times a week uh, into my workout they're all large pretty functional movements and I recommend you try one or as many of them as you can and that's how barring eating goat balls and juicing yourself to the gills you can have a pretty good body as you age okay <laughs> take care see you again soon bye